Okay. What's going on, people? Eight days since Leicester City were relegated. It took eight days for me to acknowledge <laughs> and accept that it's happened. So, in eight days, what has happened? Well, we've had a few players come out now, including James Madison, Ricardo Pereira, and now Jamie Vardy last night. Uh, with a statement saying uh, how sorry they are and you know they're very apologetic and that their their thoughts about you know everything reflecting and stuff has took them a while to post what they need to post, but not one player has gone out and says I'm going to stay, I'm going to be here next year, I'm going to be here next season to rectify the fuck up that was the season just gone. Johnny Evans is the latest to tweet um, about it and that he's put Leicester will be back. So have a look at that. Now, more rumours and stuff are obviously happening with Leicester in terms of management. It has been eight days since we've been relegated with no sniff of uh, a manager in sight yet. But Graham Potter has been rumoured heavily, but also rumoured to go Celtic. Now, I won't get into the debate with Leicester Celtic thing because we did that with Rodgers. But right now, as it stands, if I was to pick where I'd go, I'd go Celtic because of Champions League football. Which Leicester haven't got top flight football, let alone Champions League football. Um, and then there's Steven Gerrard. Now, I don't want Steven Gerrard at all. Not even one bit. Let's not even go there. That would be a worse move than getting Brendan Rodgers back. Um... Steven Gerrard, we must stay away from Steven Gerrard. We must keep away from bringing him here. Bring, the, the best available manager right now is Graham Potter. Not Jesse Marsh, not Steven Gerrard, not Bielsa, blah, blah, blah. Well, Bielsa's gone, I think, international now to Uruguay or something. But, look, it is, simple fact, it's Graham Potter. We have to get Graham Potter in and we have to offer him some money and hopefully a a big reset can happen at Leicester City because that's exactly what we need right now we know the amount of players that are running out of contracts and we now know as of yesterday well actually I think it was probably 12 o'clock last night that it was posted but I read it this I read it this morning which was James Madison's asking fee from Leicester City is reportedly £40 million pounds with his last year on his contract remaining. The club are worried about letting him um, end up going for free in 12 months time. So they're looking at cashing in on James Madison, which we've already discussed on the channel anyway. But £40 million pounds sounds a little like we're giving him away almost, but I don't know. What are your, what's your take in the chat, in the comments? Let me know what your thoughts are on James Madison's worth as a player, as an individual. You've got to remember, he has some fantastic stats in the Prem. Regardless of where Leicester were, he had some phenomenal stats for his position. Considering that James Madison has been carrying an injury, give or take, um, a, a, a problem with his hip, or fire, whatever it is, it seems to be constantly giving him problems. Um, last season, he went out his way and smashed it. Let's be real, he did. Um, individually, not as a team. Individually, not as a team. Um, Forty million pounds. Losing him, losing Yuri for free, potentially to someone like Aston Villa. Um, do, don't mind me, I'm just watching someone trying to squeeze their car into a, the most tightest of spaces ever. It, it, it's like a, uh, it's like a, a video off, a, off of a, one of those 888 sites, not the poker ones. Um, good Lord, he's really trying to squeeze that in. He's going to hit the car. Anyway, um, yeah, and, uh. I just don't know where we're going to go when we lose all these players. We need a manager. I think we need a manager. Obviously, the players aren't training at the minute, but they will be soon, sooner than later. We're going to need someone in straight away. I don't know if it's Dean Smith's going to carry on, if JT's going to come back with, with him. I have no idea. All we know is the rumours, which are Graham Potter and Stephen Gerrard. 
I want your take on who you want and why. I want the reasons for me saying no to Steven Gerrard. I want your reasons for me thinking Graham Potter. He's got to be the man, right? With the amount of money that we're going to have, we're probably going to be the richest club in the championship. Well, give or take, um, probably the most to spend in the championship. So that's got to be something, right? You know, with the, the training facility that we've got as well, surely that's going to bring some sort of um, well-respected manager like Graham Potter. Uh, to come in but guys thank you all for smashing those likes make sure you've subscribed to the channel follow me on socials at lee underscore chappy uh, all my socials are in the description of the video until next time people shall see you on a live very very soon midweek going to go live and discuss far far more than just this um, going forwards for for lesser cities summer seasons i suppose until then she was the queen.